The Parkland students have been in the public eye since the tragedy at their school. And one of the things I love about them is that they don't give a fuck. I mean, they really don't give a fuck. Um, they're aggressive and they're passionate and it's refreshing to watch. Well, one of the students, David Hogg, did a commercial calling out some politicians. Take a look. What if our politicians weren't the bitch of the NRA? It doesn't make sense that I have to wait till I'm 21 to get a handgun, but I can get this weapon at 18. I don't know. We didn't address it in this present. Look, I think you know why? Because right. you're afraid of the NRA, right? No. <laughs> what if we all voted and said this is not okay? It was an incredibly exciting election night in a district. There never should have been a question that the Republicans should have won. They're sending a Democrat from the heart of Trump country. Voters are sending a message, and if. The president isn't hearing it, a whole lot of other people are. What if we stood up as Americans and fought for our freedom and our children's lives? Everybody is saying politicians who are corrupt, politicians who are accepting money from these organizations, you can't run from us. We are the people who voted you in and we are the people who will vote you out. My name is David Hogg and I stand with the Never Again movement. Join us on March 24th as we march for our lives and the future of America. So that's awesome. They just did the, uh, you know, there was the national school walkout the other day, 17 minutes for the 17 victims in the Parkland shooting. And um, yeah, I think that if there's enough of this done, it's going to work. I think it's going to work if there's enough of this done. We've already seen the Florida state legislature do a co compromise bill on gun reform. I like some of the provisions in the bill. Uh, others I don't like so much. But I think if you put enough pressure on Washington, uh, at a certain point, they feel like they can't not do something or they all lose their their jobs. And that's the one thing that can get uh, that can get these people to override how beholden they are to their donors. So uh, I love this next generation that's coming up. And I like how at the beginning he said, imagine if we had pol or something along the lines of uh, imagine we didn't ha we had politicians who weren't the bitch of the NRA because like, damn, son. That, that's like that that generation is the manifestation of everything that I've been trying to push for on the show. Don't have a filter. Just tell the truth. And um, who cares how people respond to that? Just tell the truth. And whatever happens, happens. And you did everything you could. So they're talking about politicians being the bitch of the NRA. You know, this generation. Man, imagine if they all get on the same page and they all realize it ain't just that with the NRA. It's that with everything in politics, you know? Why do we get the uh, economic policy we have? And the, why do we have the weak financial regulations that we have? Well, the politicians are taking money from Wall Street. I mean, they're the bitch of Wall Street. They're the bitch of the for-profit health insurance companies. They're the bitch of the pharmaceutical industry. They're the bitch of the military-industrial complex. They're the bitch of the oil companies. So this is why uh, Congress has an approval rating of anywhere between 14% and 21% on a regular basis. This is why everybody despises them. Everybody despises them because they're representing their donors. They're not representing us. And now this is crystal clear to everybody on the issue of gun reform. 97% of Americans want a universal background check, and we don't have it yet. Why? Maybe it has something to do with the fact that the NRA takes money from gun makers and then donates the money to the Republican politicians and they block any reform at all. Maybe that, maybe that has something to do with it. So, but it's like this on every political issue. You have to follow the money. And I think, uh, you know, this is all going to come to a tipping point eventually. And everything feels impossible until it's done. That's the thing. Because I know it's so easy to feel defeatist. Because it's like, what the fuck, man? 80% of Americans want a minimum wage increase. We haven't even had that since fucking way back in the Bush years. So it, it feels like, oh, we'll never win. But no, if, if you keep fighting, eventually you win. And then after you win, everybody turns around and goes, it was inevitable we were going to win on that issue. No, nothing's inevitable. But if you fight hard enough, we can win. And I think we can win on gun reform. I think we can win on the minimum wage. I think we can win on financial regulation. I think we can win on Medicare for all. I think we can win on the wars. We just have to not take no for an answer. And that's exactly what this generation is doing. So I support this march on the 24th. And I think my favorite part of it is they all have very specific answers as to what they want. We covered a video of it for the walkout the other day. They were talking to one of the kids. He was like, well, I'll tell you exactly what I want. For example, I want a universal background check. I want to ban assault weapons. 
uh, and I want tests for guns to make it uh, not so we ban guns, but that it's difficult to get a gun. There's some barriers to get a gun. And that's not gonna stop every mass shooting, but it's gonna cut back on a lot of them for sure, because you're disincentivizing many people who could become a shooter. So, they know what they want. They know what they want, and they're not taking any shit for an answer. And this next generation, there's gonna be a breed of politician that you see come up more and more now, where it's people who, it's no more of this flowery bullshit and this fucking cliches and platitudes. It's gonna have to be politicians who tell you exactly what they for, they're for. There's no bullshitting this next generation. And the more I see of them, the more I'm convinced of that. 